CataractCoach.com, ASCRS case number nine. What to do now? You've got an unusual IOL that goes in the eye upside down. So here's the case, highly myopic eye, nice looking caps rexus, eyes full of viscoelastic. Here comes the lens. Now I'm used to seeing that leading haptic and why is it folded over the wrong way? And the lens is, the lens was clearly misloaded here. So let's get it flipped over. The lens certainly was misloaded, and even the haptic, the leading haptic, was bent during the process. So we have a scrub tech here who's new and confessed that she was too shy to speak up about loading this lens, and she didn't really know how. And so that's unfortunate, but what are we going to do now? So we put the lens in the capsule bag, and you'll see it's just not going to center well. It's an unusual lens. It's a plus two diopter lens. Now, what if you don't have a backup? What do you do now? What should we do in this situation here? You can't leave it in there like this. So you could optic capture it, put the habit in the sulcus and capture the optic behind the rexus and that keep it stable. But instead, let's fill the out viscoelastic, take the haptic outside the eye, straighten it out, and this will make it a whole lot better. And now we've got the eye will flip to the correct orientation. It's the anti-S, remember? You don't want the haptics to ever look like the letter S. And now we'll put it in the eye. It's not in the hap the haptic's not on the bag yet. Let's get that dialed in a little bit better. There you go. And once we get this lens fully dialed in, is it still in? Nah, maybe a little more dialing in. Once the lens is completely in the capsule bag, then you'll see it'll center beautifully. There you go. Nice looking rexus, five millimeter rexus, six millimeter optic, beautiful case. We'll finish this up here. Take out the viscoelastic, and it'll be a really nice outcome for this patient. Patient's going to be really happy with the, with the situation here. So we all have these situations. The key is to be able to deal with it on the spot. Let me show you another important pearl here, and that is, talk about loading these lenses. Here's a one diopter lens, a three-piece lens, meniscus style. So here's how we're going to load it up. And it's important that you realize that leading haptic, when you put it in these cartridges, can turn either direction. So we're going to load this lens up, fill up the cartridge to the viscoelastic. There's the lens. I'm going to grab it very carefully here. And as it goes in here, there's the correct orientation. There's the picture on the box. Leading haptic is correct. Push it in a little more. We'll put that uh, haptic on the other side of that peg here. This is a cartridge meant for the three-piece lens. Now we'll put it into the injector, advance the plunger. But look at the leading haptic. As it goes in the eye, let's take a look here. Deliver, deliver. Where's it going? Stop and think. Seven. Good. 7L. Remember the 7L rule? That means the leading haptic should come out like the number 7. The trailing haptic should come out like the capital letter L, that kind of orientation. And then the overall is, of course, the anti-S. And don't worry, we'll polish up that capsule bag too. Now, the same exact situation now. Another three-piece lens. Same design, same manufacturer. Let's load it in here. Let's see if we can do it correctly. Yes, that's the anti-S. Matches the picture on the cartridge. Same B cartridge. Advance it down there nice and easy. There it is. In fact, it's the same power. It's the patient's other eye. And this is uh, to leave a little bit of mild myopia for each eye. So advancing it. Look, it's perfect, right? But watch what happens. Sometimes when you advance these down the cartridge, the haptic, look, it turned the other direction. You see that? Now it doesn't look like a number seven. So when I put this in the eye here, as it comes out, stop, rotate. So make sure that leading one still comes out like a number seven. And now rotate back the other way, and you follow the 7L rule. So it did require a little bit of a maneuvering on the surgeon's part, but you can ensure the lens goes in the eye in the correct orientation. Important pearls here to learn when you're using three-piece lenses so you give your patients the best outcome.